this mixed bag of quantitative aptitude the first question is what should come in place of question mark 110% of 250 plus 350% of 450 is equal to x% percent of 300 plus 50 So hundred and ten percent means hundred plus ten percent. So hundred percent of two fifty will be two fifty, and ten percent will be twenty five. You can do this also orally by two hundred and seventy five. Plus three fifty percent means three hundred percent plus fifty percent. So three hundred percent means four hundred and fifty into three. So three hundred percent, that is one thousand three hundred and fifty. Plus fifty percent means half of four fifty, that is two hundred and twenty-five, which is equal to x percent of three hundred. Plus fifty. So this together will be one thousand eight hundred and fifty. Shift fifty to other side, and you will get it as minus fifty, which is equal to x by hundred into three hundred. Zero zero will get cancelled, and take three to this side. so you will get 1800 divided by 3 and which is equal to 600 so the question mark will be replaced by 600 next question is a person can do a piece of work in 26 days and an another person can do the same work in 3 39 days if they work together then by what percent the wages of first person is more than that of the second person here a finishes the work in 26 days b finishes it in 39 days therefore a finishes the work in one day will be equal to 1 by 26 and b finishes in one day the work 1 by 39 so the ratio of their work of course one day's work will be equal to 1 by 26 is to 1 by 39 and so that is equal to 3 is to 2 now the difference between their ratios is equal to 3 minus 2 that is 1 and since the difference is 2 sorry 1 the required percentage will be half of 100% and that is equal to 50% so the wages of first person is 50% more than the second person next question is two friends take a piece of work for rupees 960 one alone could do it in 12 days the other in 60 days with the assistance of an expert they finish it in 4 days how much remuneration the expert should get two friends a and b they take a work for rupees 960 a finishes it in 16 days 
sorry 12 days alone and b finishes it in 16 days alone and a plus b plus c c is the expert they together finish it in 4 days let there be a 100% work then a finishes the work in one day that will be equal to 100 by 12% that is equal to 8.33 percent b finishes the work in one day that will be 100 by 16 percent therefore that is equal to 6.25 percent and therefore they together a plus b finish the work in one day that is 14.58% if you add this together you get 14.58% so approximately it is 15% now a plus b plus c they together work c is the expert they finish the work in 4 days so in one day they finish 100 by 4% that is equal to 25% therefore c's work in one day will be equal to 25% minus a plus b's work that is 15% so that is equal to 10% so c finishes 10% of work in one day and therefore the ratio of their work that is a plus b's work to the c's work that will be equal to 15 by 10 and which is equal to 3 is to 2 so the wages will be divided into 3 is to 2 the total parts will be 5 out of 5 3 parts will go to a plus b and 2 parts will go to c and we have to find the c's share in the wages so it will be equal to 960 divided by 5 multiplied by two parts so multiplied by 2 that is equal to 384 so c will get 384 rupees out of 960 next question is two men p and q start a journey from same place at a speed of 3 km per hour and 3 and 1/2 km per hour if they move in same direction then what is the distance between them after 4 hours so the speed of p that is equal to 3 km per hour and speed of q that is equal to 3 and 1/2 km per hour the difference between their speeds that is speed of q minus speed of p that is equal to 1/2 km per hour and since this 1/2 km per hour is the additional speed so in 4 hours how much it will cover if the speed is half kilometer per hour then the distance between p and q distance between p and q 
will be equal to half multiplied by 4 and that is equal to 2 kilometer. Therefore, after 4 hours with a speed of half kilometer per hour, the distance between P and Q will be 2 kilometer. Friends, I hope you might have enjoyed this video. If yes, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you will get updates right into your mailbox. Thank you very much. Friends, you might have enjoyed this video. Then go to thumbs up button and click. Then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.